local spot here in Palm Springs that's one of my favorite spots. It's called Farm and it is a French inspired little breakfast brunch spot. Um, it's one of the most popular restaurants in Palm Springs. If you go on Yelp, um, it's one of the first restaurants that'll pop up. It's got great ratings, great reviews, and the food is just uh, so good. I might get a couple things. It's, I'm solo dolo today. Raleigh's at work and Charlie's at school. Mom had a day off, so I was like, let's go grow. I'm normally here for breakfast, but they do have really good like salads and sandwiches and stuff for lunch. So definitely to check out, but today we are for sure doing brunch. I get the same thing every time I come. I don't know why I'm acting like I wouldn't. So I'm gonna be doing the bacon, chicken, and waffles. I might get something else too. I don't know. Maybe some dessert? Let's see where the day takes us. Okay, so they have fresh squeezed orange juice um, and they also have grapefruit and watermelon juice. So good. Seriously, so, so delicious. And then I got a white wine spritzer. Um, I think there's champagne and pomegranate juice and I don't know what else. But they put pomegranate seeds and a little rosemary sprig and it's so fancy. I feel, I feel like a lady. But I'm going to drink it with a straw because there's a lot going on there. <laughs> yeah. I ordered the bacon, chicken, and waffles. Um, I opted to upgrade my side uh, from a salad to potatoes because who wants a salad for breakfast? Um, and, and I just don't want a salad ever. Come on, let's be real. Uh, so that should be working and come on up. And I'm thinking I might finish with either a crepe or a croissant looks really good too. But the bacon chicken and waffles is pretty big so i don't want to get ahead of myself and like be a little too big for my britches and then my eyes be bigger than my stomach than it like it normally is um my bacon chicken and waffles just got here looks so good look how freaking awesome so it is bacon and dewy sausage is a little like spicy louisiana sausage um chicken breast and it has a waffle on it and that waffle is so good it's a little sweet a little crunchy it's it's seriously just the best and then the potatoes are like roasted potatoes so excited to dig in i already know this is good this is what i get every time i come um, i have had other things a banana french toast is fantastic omelets are really good they have a duck omelet that i tried and i was really scared to try because it had duck and goat cheese just not really my thing but everyone said it was really good so i tried it and uh so good um i can't help but get the bacon chicken and waffles whenever i come because it's just it's fantastic like there's a little like white gravy on it kind of like um like biscuits and gravy type of stuff but it's like so, i don't know what it is but it is so good so you have to like get a little bite of everything in like a little chicken a little waffle a little gravy i just say cheers so good but there's no nothing else to say about it like it's a little savory a little sweet that waffle is freaking killer like i kind of wish i got a second waffle the flavor is just so good i don't know what it is i can't describe it it really is just like a little sweet the andouille sausage gives it a nice little like kick of something different i mean this is like meat eaters paradise you guys they just know how to do good food here like I can't give it enough good recommendations, but I really, really like it. I'm gonna get back to my food. I devoured that waffle. It was so delicious. That was just, just so good. It is a lot of meat, so I didn't finish all of the chicken. I ate all the Indian sausage because it really, the spiciness cut the sweetness of it all. I'm the only person in the world who doesn't like 
love, love bacon. I like bacon, don't get me wrong. Like, mm, delicious, so good. Theirs is always so crispy, perfect bacon. But I would much rather prefer some breakfast sausage over bacon. I only ate one slice of my bacon. I didn't eat much potatoes because I think I'm gonna do a crepe for dessert. I'm gonna do a light crepe for dessert. I normally get the banana and Nutella crepe. I think that's a little too much, but they have a lemon crepe that's just like lemon butter and sugar. I think that's gonna be a perfect little end to this all. Farm is on the pricier end for breakfast. The places in Palm Springs generally tend to be pricier. It is like quintessential Palm Springs, like very Instagrammable. The vibe here is just freaking beautiful. There's flowers and lush garden everywhere. There's like jazzy French kind of music in the background. It's cute, it's very quaint. With that comes like the Palm Springs price tag. So it is a more expensive breakfast. I think my cocktail was $15. My orange juice was like five or $6, which is fresh because orange juice, that's not pricey for orange juice at all. It was so good. I like inhaled it by the way. My bacon, chicken and waffles I think was $18. And the crepe, it's like 10 or $12. I think, I think it's $10, but I mean, that's, it's gonna be like a $50 breakfast for one person. It's, it is pricier, but when you're in Palm Springs and you wanna spoil yourself, like that's what you do. You go have a great filling lunch breakfast and then, or come in a brunch. Come 11, 12 o'clock, have a late breakfast, early lunch, and then you're good to go until dinner time, and it's perfect. 50 bucks for breakfast for one person isn't what I would normally do on a Tuesday morning, but we're having a special day, so why not? We just got paid, so we're celebrating, right? Cheers. <laughs> The white wine spritzer is fantastic too. It's so fresh, it's light, and it's not too much alcohol, or at least I don't taste it. All the little touches are, are really, I mean, it's the attention to detail, which is why we love these places in Palm Springs. I mean, that's what we come for, right? We want the Instagrammable spots. They don't necessarily have a kid's menu here. So when Charlie comes, he normally gets, he either gets the uh, banana Nutella crepe or he gets an egg plate, which is like bacon, scrambled eggs and potatoes and like the toast. And he loves that, he inhales it. Scrambled eggs here are like nice and fluffy scrambled eggs. Oh, my favorite. Um, the, you know, the kind that you can't make quite right at home. Yeah, those, <laughs> not necessarily a kid's breakfast spot, but they do have things that kids can have. And you know, maybe your kid's adventurous and wants to try a duck omelet, who knows? Thank you. Look at this, citron crepe. It has powdered sugar, lemon, it is a lemon, lemon zest, yeah, the, the zest of a lemon, and some butter, but it's nice and hot. So like the sugar's getting all melty. Oh my God, you guys. Oh my God, so excited. Let's try our first bite. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat all this. I probably won't, but I'm gonna try. Mm. It's like the perfect amount to finish it off. Cause it gives you just a little bit of sweetness. It's not too heavy. If there was more than just me here, like this would be, like at this there was two or three people, just a couple bites of this would be absolutely ideal, perfect way to end breakfast. I'm gonna take a couple bites and then probably take the rest of it to go. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. I am so here for this. How did I live so long in my life without crepes? I remember in high school, I took a home economics class and we learned how to make a crepe. And that was the only experience I've ever had with crepes in my life. Until here. And oh my God. I just, I love them. They're just, they're perfect. They're the perfect amount. They're not, this one isn't too heavy. Okay, I threw in the towel. I got to go box for my crepe because I'm literally stuffed to the gills. That food was so good, so rich, so just a little bit goes a long way. And I'm assuming that's how French food is, just, you know, rich and decadent. It was delicious, I loved it. Dude, get this white wine spritzer. I can't, 
I can't speak enough on how good it is. Definitely bring the family. It's a cute spot. Check it out next time you're in Palm Springs. I'll see you next time I go out. Bye.